Hi everyone, this is Gigi K, and I am here today doing kind of a random video. Never done one of these before. I'm doing my August kind of end of summer favorites. Uh, these are some things that I uh, had and used this summer and really enjoyed and just thought I would uh, do a quick video about them. Let's see. The first thing I think I'll start with are these sandals. Um, I had got a pair of these sandals two years ago. Uh, in a different style. They didn't have the between the toe thing like this one does. And they literally still today, after wearing them for now three summers, um, they still look brand new. And these I wore all summer. I got them at the beginning of the summer. I wore them all summer, even on the bottom. I mean, I didn't wear them every day, but I probably wore them at least a couple times a week. And um, the name of the company... See, let it focus. It looks like it's Grand Co. Sandal Company. And I got mine at my local Hallmark store, so I don't know if other Hallmark stores carry them or not. But they were wonderful. And if you are sensitive to wear, like I am, to wearing the kind of sandals that go in between your toe, this is very narrow. And it doesn't like leave a blister, you know, in the beginning of the summer when you first start wearing them. Really like these. Really recommend them. Then another thing that I wore this a lot this summer are these little dangle earrings from Brighton. They're just kind of a classic, basic. Um, they're big enough to show up because my hair goes to my shoulders, but they're not gaudy. Very nice for work, and I ended up wearing these a lot this summer. Okay, and I must apologize for my hands. I've been working out in the yard. My hands are in horrible shape, so please excuse them. This is a uh, a fragrance that I used over the summer. I don't typically use a lot of fragrance over the summer because I do work out in the yard from time to time and it tends to attract the bugs. But when I did wear it, I wore um, this. It's a light body spray by Ralph Lauren. It's called Romance. It's very, um, it's not overly sweet, but it's just very, um, gosh, I can't even describe it. It's just a light floral airy type of scent very fresh smelling I really liked it a lot and let's see Bath and Body Works there were several of those things that I used over the summer I really like this True Blue, True Blue Spa Sugar 60 Minute Manicure Hand Scrub uh, it is pink I don't have it on it is uh, on the inside it's pink that's what it looks like and it's a very fresh kind of grapefruity smell and uh, leaves your hands feeling wonderful. I really like it a lot and recommend it. In the mornings, I like to use this, which is the, um, pow it's called Power Up All Invigorating Blend of Lemon Essential Oil Ginseng provides a pick-me-up, and it really does. It kind of wakes you up in the morning. It's like a uh, body scrub, but it's not a real rough body scrub. Same way with this sugar um, scrub. I don't like the kind that have like real big granules in there and almost feel like they're scratching you. I don't like those. And neither of these had that. Really like that. And this is my current, one of my absolute most favorites. This is a body wash and bath foam. I am totally addicted to this. It has such a comforting, calming smell to it. It's lavender chamomile. Oh my gosh, it is wonderful. I'm going to go back to Bath & Body Works and see what other products they have in this. I just happened to pick this up a couple weeks ago when it was on sale for $5. Wish I would have gotten more of them. It's called Sleep, as you can see, and oh, it's just wonderful. I can't recommend it enough, especially if you like a bubble bath, because that's, that's how I use it. Okay, and then here is another bubble bath that I use. Not quite as much. I like it also, but I, um, and I did use it over the summer. I take bubble baths year-round. <laughs> and uh, it's called Paris Amour, and uh, that's by Bath & Body Works as well. Get that out of the way. Now, also, um, one thing that I pulled out here was my box for my iPhone. I got the new, I, well, it's not new now. <laughs> I got the iPhone 4 about a month ago. I know, knew that the iPhone 5 was coming out, but I'm not one of those people who has to have absolutely the latest gadgets. And quite frankly, this has more than everything on. I got it with Suri, and I, I do like Suri. It's <laughs> She's kind of funny. Um... And uh, I really, I, I don't know, I really like the iPhone. It's got a lot of features that I use both uh, personally as well as for work. So I'm really enjoying my new white iPhone, which is what I am taping on now. 
And then one of my favorite books, I'm a big reader, and one of my favorite books that I read over the summer was one of the Shopaholic. I don't know if any of you have ever read any of the Sophie Kinsella Shopaholic books. They are uh, a light summer um, type of read. Uh, definitely not um, <laughs> anything uh, real intellect for any definitely not anything very intellectual. It's definitely an escapist, funny read. And this that's exactly what it was. Uh, that's exactly what I needed for the summer. And the last thing I have here is, um, even though it was in the fall pattern and I just started carrying, and I thought, well, I did start carrying it all at the end of August. I put it in here. I am, even though I've had problems with it, I am... You, uh, I have enjoyed my Eloise in Indigo Pop. I'm not carrying it this week. I pulled out my Rhythm and Blues, but I probably will go back to it in a week or two. But I did enjoy carrying it, and I will continue to carry it. So there we go, guys. Just kind of a last-minute, random um, things that I liked the towards the end of the summer, uh, August, and um, some things that I enjoyed over the summer as well. So I would love to see um, your favorites if it's something that you guys um, feel comfortable putting up. I always like to see what other people have. Oh, and one thing I wanted to ask you guys, especially you guys that are um, kind of beauty divas, I am in need of, I need a recommendation for an eye makeup remover. I've always used Estee Lauder, and I don't know if mine is just getting old or if they changed the formula or what. But I almost have to scrub to get it off, and I just can't do that around, as you guys know, around the eye area. So what eye makeup remover do you all use? Um, I would love to know. Um, so just put that in the comments as well, and any other comments. I'm sorry I didn't get a changing of the purse video. My uh, cell phone died on me right in the middle of it. So I will try and get one up for you all. I know there's several of you that like those, and I enjoy doing them too. So thank you very much. You guys have a great day. And I will talk to you soon. This is Gigi. Bye-bye.